As always, it's a pleasure to be here. And hi to everybody. I guess Ron's here with Canada. We've got USA. We've got America. We've got India. Uh, we have Poland again. Jen Dobrieva. <laughs> She's teaching me Polish. So, what I'm here to talk about today is EFL Talks. And if you could just tell me how the volume. Everybody hear me okay? Hi, Ron. Good. Loud and clear. Good. Um, I apologize if my voice cuts out. I've been having a problem for the past couple of days. So hopefully it'll hold up for the whole time. But EFL Talks with a bad voice. Um, what we're going to talk about is the program that I came up with. And you'll see a little bit about it right now. So, first of all, in the chat box, I know a few of you know this. Um, what is CPD and TD? First, CPD. Anybody know what it stands for? Just type in the chat box if you could. Continuous professional development. Okay. Usually we hear continuing professional development. California Police Department, yes, stands for that too. And how about TD? Anybody know what TD stands for? Teacher development? No, it's touchdown. Training department, that's it. It's I, I'm an American football fan, so it's touchdown. No, it's teacher development and professional development. And the way that I came about this idea is I found out people are not doing it. This is a huge problem here in Brazil. And as I've been traveling around Europe and talking to other teachers and trainers everywhere else, I'm finding out it's a huge problem everywhere. Um, teachers are just not doing training and development anymore. There's the attitude that they already know everything, nothing's new under the sun, and there's a lot of excuses because of what? What do you think the biggest excuse for not doing additional training is? Type in the chat box. Time. Yep. Very good, Ron. Heavy workload. Yeah, this is true. Here in Brazil, many teachers work at two or three different courses and uh, work at the municipal schools also. So time is a problem here in order to make a living. Okay, so time, ah, I lost the hands of my clock. Somehow they fell off in uh, the email. Time is the biggest excuse and the biggest problem. Now, webinars were a nice thing. In the old days when I started teaching, there were a lot of published events that would take place here in Rio. And I used to go to all of them, which is how I met a lot of the writers. And this is how I did my development. But this is very expensive to put on these live shows. And publishers aren't doing as many as they used to. So the next solution is the webinar. Uh, thanks to the Internet, it's much easier. I hope you're all sitting comfortably at home. I'm here sitting comfortably in my office. And webinars have helped this. The problem is there's too many now. Every day there's another webinar going on. And you'll see this. I always want to attend as many webinars as I can. But it's really impossible to go to all of them these days. And of course, you know, I mean, well, I write down, okay, I can watch the recording later. But, you know, honestly, it's hard to remember and it's hard to get to all the recordings. They back up. So there's too many. 
The other problem is that they go on much too long. Um, it's, I have a problem going to some of these webinars that last 90 minutes to two hours with one person talking about one subject. And, you know, I don't have that kind of time to give up. I don't have time to watch TV, um, let alone to watch a 90-minute webinar on one subject. Now, there's always exceptions to the rule. There's some great speakers out there that I could watch for hours. But um, this is not the case with every webinar. So is there no solution? There is. And one day I was thinking about how could I come up with a good solution for this? And how could I make this easier and faster for teachers to do professional development in the little spare time that they have. And I thought about a Pesha Kucha. Pesha Kucha is something where you have 20 seconds to use 20 slides, and you have to discuss your subject. It's, I believe, 6 minutes and 40 seconds. And so you have to really talk fast. And um, I also thought about the success of TED Talks. You'll notice at the bottom is a trademark of TED Conferences, LLC. Okay, so I've mentioned them. And I thought about a web event. And what I did is, this is actually true, I was making some juice, and I thought about blending them all together. And that's how I came up with this idea of EFL Talks and teachers teaching teachers. So it's no longer the publishers, no longer the trainers. It's teachers. It's us teaching each other. And what I thought about is one of my private students is in Morocco. She's studying at the university right now. And she had lots of questions for me all the time. And I was surprised at how little that she was getting there in Morocco about the teacher technology and the teacher terminology that we hear all the time here in Brazil and I'm sure in other countries. And so I thought about this solution and to bring together top industry experts and build a PLN plus. Anybody know what a PLN is? Type in the chat box. Nobody's typing. Is everybody asleep already? Well, a PLN is, you'll hear two things. It's really, it's a professional learning network. Some people say personal learning network. But uh, mainly it's a professional learning network. And these are the colleagues that I always pay attention to, reach out to, and learn from. And everybody needs to build their own personal learning network. This is important. And what I've done is given you a plus. Okay? Yes, they go hand in hand. Thanks, Nelly. And I thought about CPD. I wanted it to be concise, I wanted a program that would be perpetual, and I wanted something that would be dynamic, something different from the regular everyday webinars that we see. But like everything, I'm a musician and also was in sales, you also need a hook. You need the way to grab them. What are you going to do that's different? And the idea I had was 10 and 10. And 10 and 10 stands for 10 slides in 10 minutes. So all the presentations were 10 minutes long only. I have cut teachers off, and you could only utilize 10 slides. And I wanted this to take place during one event. So what we did is... We set up something which allows you to get directly to the point. 
which, my, it certainly changed my PowerPoint. Okay? Now, the idea was I would archive all the recordings, and we would have something fun and free, and something that was available all over the world, and make a program that was sustainable, because I want this to keep going forever. So I came up with 10 and 10 for 10. This was our first event. And what we did is, we you can see we had some sponsors here. Nelly, of course. Can everybody hear? Um, Nelly, of course, with Integrating Technology, Gallery Teachers, Webster's Dictionary, my company, ITDI also, NEFL Magazine, helped to sponsor our first event. And Gavin Dudney was our first keynote speaker. And you'll see what we have here are 50 of our EFL Talk speakers. And what we did is we did a nonstop 10-hour web event. Okay? It was amazing. It was great. It was a lot of fun. And just to give you an idea, there's some of the subjects that we covered, anything from CLIL to STEM to using a dictionary, uh, the business of EFL, native speakerism, games. We tried to cover all different types of information that new and existing teachers need to hear about. And the experts talked about each specific subject for 10 minutes. The next one we did was EFL Answers. And the idea of the hook here was we crowdsourced questions from new and future teachers. And what we did is we had the experts answer viewers' questions. We called this 10 and 10 for you. It took place over two days. And we did 40 questions, 40 answers. And this was, held, as I said, in February. You see we have Nick Peachy was our keynote speaker. Again, Nelly, as always, um, helped us out with integrating technology and set up a Moodle for us to make it very easy. Uh, EFL Magazine also published the questions and did a survey. So what we did is over two days, we answered viewers' questions. And to give you an idea, these are some of the subjects. Things like fossilization, realia in the classroom, how to find a good online job, um, critical thinking. So we covered a lot of different aspects of English teaching. And what we did is we did everything with EFL Magazine and with our EFL Talks Facebook page. If you have Facebook, I hope you'll all go to search. Just put in EFL Talks and like us. Uh, you'll get up-to-date information. And I'll talk to you more about the site in a bit. But EFL Magazine, again, as I said, did some crowdsourcing. And we had the Moodle set up. And the Moodle was great because what this allowed us to do was give out certificates and badges and made it much easier to sign up. So here's who we have now. EFL Talks has now grown to 66 different professionals. You may recognize some of the people there. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know. Anybody have an idea? But you'll see a lot of famous faces there and big names from EFL. And here's some of the names. We're not going to go through them all, but um, we had some really great people, and we still continue to get great people on our next one. You can see just in the first one, where of course, Nellie was there, Shelly Terrell, Marjorie Rosenberg, uh, Jason, Chuck Sandy, Vicki Hollett, so big names in EFL. 
and everybody's getting involved, all the way down to people like me who nobody has ever heard of yet. So, the numbers, we have 66 speakers so far in over 25 countries, and so far we have over 100 videos. But this is going to change. And what happens is everything takes place through the EFLTalks.com website. So this is all you have to remember, EFLTalks.com. And if you go to the site, all the links for YouTube, um, for social networking, for email and everything else, everything is there. Okay? So this is the center. And what we have is we have the page there with all the videos. And you'll notice that what we've done is you'll see, for instance, the talker's name, Patrick Jackson, did something on ELT Flotsam or Flotsam, depending on your accent. Um, the event that it took place at and when it took place. And what we're setting up for the future is a searchable database. So you can actually go through and put in keywords, and all the videos that will be pertinent to your keyword will come up for you. And you can watch all these. And remember, they're only 10 minutes long. So everybody has time for 10 minutes. So exactly. Data, we're building up a library of videos. Right now, we have over 100. And if you see, here's just a few samples. We have Lucy Crichton here. We have Shelly is right here. Uh, no, Shelly's here. And I think she's here too. She in two places? Yep. Um, we have Susan Hilliard's presentation. We have Marjorie Rosenberg's presentation. So you're going to see just like this. You'll see them talking live and you'll see their PowerPoint presentation. And again, discussing one thing, getting to the point in just 10 minutes. And while this is happening, in the background, we have our live Twitter feed going on, which is EFL Talks Live. And the other exciting thing is we have free prizes. When you attend one of the live events and register, you're also registered to win free prizes that we give away. Some of it in the past, we've given away ebooks. We've actually given away books. Um, Shelly Terrell mailed her book, I forget to where. We had Webster's Dictionary mailed a few dictionaries to people. We have e courses, one to one sessions, subscriptions to people's courses. Uh, training, all this for free for the people that are viewing live. Here's, these are actually old numbers. I forgot to change these before I sent Nelly the, um, the information. But with only two events, we've had over 400 uh, live viewers. Now, the viewers that have since gone, this 50,000 plus is now over 6,000. So we've had over 60,000 viewers from over 200 countries. And what I'm very pleased about is the amount of views each individual video. This is now very close to half a million. So it's amazing. And we've done this with only two events. And I started this in October. Everything, again, takes place through EFLTalks.com. Remember that name. So, as I said before, if you attend, you can get a certificate. We also give certificates out to the presenters. And we have badges, thanks to Nelly and the Moodle. For the future, our next event is going to be on July 29th and possibly the 30th. So mark your calendars. Um, I just announced it this week, I believe. And we have already have half of July 29th filled up with talkers. So we may have to go for two days. But 
we'll keep you up to date on the Facebook page and also on the site. So make sure you register. And what we're going to do, we decided to take a step back this time. We're going to have 10 and 10 for terms. And what we're doing is building a video glossary for new and up-and-coming teachers. For things like, you know, if you've been in teaching for a long time, everybody knows what scaffolding is. No, I'm not talking what you climb up to paint a building. Um, and a lot of new teachers and a lot of future teachers don't know the term. So we're going to have our experts go through and define each term and tell you how, when, and why you would use that particular word. And we have a whole list of terms that are coming up. And the big one on, oh, great. Very good. We'll take advantage of the glossary feature. And on October 5th, we'll be celebrating our one-year anniversary. And this is World Teachers Day, which we thought was the best way to start off. And we're going to have 10 and 10 for 24. Any idea what the 24 stands for? Give you a second. 24 years, yes, we're going to go on forever. Now, you're right. <laughs> 24 hours, okay? We want to do a 24-hour webathon. Okay? Just one nonstop web event. We'll try and make it work, but that means 24 hours long, I need 120 speakers. So for those of you who are teachers, join us. We need more talkers. Okay? So we need you. And people have been asking me, what's next? Well, what's next is we'd like to take EFL Talks on the road. And we would like to be able to do live shows all over the world. If you're interested, if you have an organization, get in touch with me. I'm not going to go into this too much, but we're looking for sponsorship to do live shows and uh, whether it be a course, a municipality, or a state organization. And we want to come to you and put on a live 10 and 10. Yep, including India, Poland, and Canada. Yes, everywhere. And what we'd love is if you became an EFL talker. So what you can do is... Um, I've been traveling the world giving EFL talkers their EFL talker buttons. Whee! And it's worth it just to meet me. And if you'd like to, but you're not sure how you would do it or what you would do, we're offering training, uh, EFL talker training. So email me. So an idea, submit a talk, and we'll talk about it, and we'll teach you how to be an EFL talker, okay? So we hope all of you will come. Yes, on how to speak and how to do everything. And just a shout out to our advisory board. Of course, let's see, we start with me, and the person I couldn't do it without, uh, my technical mentor and <coughs> excuse me and the person behind the scenes who keeps me going Nellie of course is on our advisory board uh, Karen Galvon from here in Brazil she keeps me sane and helps out she'll be doing more with us in the future uh, Philip Pound from EFL magazine Stephen Green and he's somebody who works with me also here in Brazil. Um, he helps out with the live Twitter feeds. And we have Jason R. Levine, who is the person who got me started uh, doing webinars. And we have Julie Pratt, who's helping us out on some of the business end of uh, EFL Talks. So thanks to the advisors. Great shout out. I couldn't do it without your guys' help. 
and we should join the fastest growing global EFL PLN plus. Say that very quickly. And we hope to sign up. And the good news is, which we'll find out next week, um, EFL Talks has been nominated for the British Counting Council's Elton Awards in Innovation for Teacher Resources. And I'll be in London next week. And I hope we win. Yay! So let me let me check my watch here. And how are we doing on time? Uh, this watch is kind of hard to read. I don't know. It's I like Dolly. Um, yeah, there we go. Twenty eight minutes. So um, we hope you all sign up. We hope you become part of the PNL Plus. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.